Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you if you're trying to create new Apple ID on your iPhone or iPad device and you are having this type of problem email address taken, your Apple ID could not be created because this email account is no longer available. So how you can fix this type of problem on your iPhone or iPad device if you're having this type of issue on your iPhone device. So here you'll have to tap on cancel. So here, when I try to create new Apple ID on my iPhone device, here tab one don't have an Apple ID. So here you will have to wait a while, it's processing. Then here you will have to enter your first name. Then here you will have to enter your last name. Then tap on here, you will have to select your date of birth. So here I'm going to select my date of birth. Then here tap on continue. Then here I'm going to enter the Gmail account through which I want to create new Apple ID on my iPhone device so here tap on continue so here you can see that here the problem email address is taken so here you will have to use another email account which you don't have used on your Apple ID so here I'm going to enter another Gmail account so here you will have to wait a while So then here you'll have to enter the Gmail account that here which is not used on any other Apple ID. So here after that tap on continue. So here you can see that here you'll have to enter your password then here verify password. Then after that you'll be able to create new Apple ID on your iPhone or iPad device. So here you will have to use the Gmail account which you never used on your Apple ID. Here if you don't have a fresh Gmail account then here you can create new gmail account by tapping on the don't have an email address here you will have tap on then here you will have to tap on get an icloud email address then after that here you will have to create new email address then after that then after that again come here and here you will have to enter that gmail account then after that you will be able to create new apple id on your iphone or ipad device so in this way you can fix the problem if you're having this type of problem on your iphone or ipad device while creating new Apple ID. So that's it from this video. Hopefully you like this video. If you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.